How's it going? Motor City Miner here coming at you with another update based on my prior uh, unboxing video. So today we're actually going to be working on this uh, it's a frame for B75, B85 motherboard. So first I'm going to unpackage this, get this set up, and then we're going to grab one of my open air rigs and see if the, the board does in fact actually align properly with the pins on here. Um, again, this is just... I, I just really don't like open air frame anymore. They're really horrible at dissipating heat. Um, like, so even if you can't get an Octoriner or something, like there's just so many options to put things in cases at this point that like it just helps so dramatically with airflow. You and you don't need the fastest fans ever. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna get this unpacked and start, you know putting it together. I'm not really exactly sure if it just like folds up or if you have to bolt a bunch of things. It did come with a bunch of screws so I assume there's some screwing needed. Um, and then obviously the five fans it came with which I'm just gonna place over here for now on my 3080 soon to be 3090 proof of use will work rig that uh, just low priority at the moment. Um, but yeah so let me get this unwrapped and then we'll start putting it together. Alrighty, so so we got this unpacked here. Um, and actually, it's a really nice black matte black finish. Like I'm actually really surprised on the quality here. And it it is in fact actually just purely folding. So you can see the hinges here. Um, there are some screws needed, you know, once and essentially in all these holes once you unfold things. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of interesting that it's, that it's a flat pack. Um, the sides, you know, do have all these hinges and they just flip up and down. And then these are the black screws that I found inside of it, which I assume are again for where these line up with the holes on the side. So we're going to get this together, um, fully assembled and then go from there. I am curious where the top of this thing is. Uh, I don't, oh, there it is. So yeah, it looks like it was just kind of sitting in its top compartment so um yeah packs really well uh so yeah let's get this together here and see what we got so we got this all unfolded you can see all the hinges everywhere uh really i'm really surprised with this case guys um link down below you know if you do need one of these for the b85 or b75 board um we will find out if it does indeed work with it uh, but some nice details like they have a a little riser platform here for your PSU. Uh, they have the plate here, um, which is nice, you know, just so. And then you have your fan grill here for the PSU. So a lot of nice details on this, to be honest. So um, this is obviously your GPU uh, rail, you know, for mounting. So this looks like it mounts right there. There's a couple more screw holes everywhere. Um, so I'm going to have to do a lot of... Uh, putting a lot of screws in this thing in the next moment, but uh, we'll be back once I'm done that and then see if we can get one of my old rigs and uh, turn it into a server case. So that'd be cool. Alrighty, so I actually threw in my old open air rig in here just to see how things are lining up. So you can actually see it is a decent amount bigger. You know, we can fit the whole open air rig in here. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I just prefer server cases. I think most people sh do or should at this point as well. Again, uh, it's just so much better for cooling, even if you're a home miner. Again, these open air rigs are meant for home miners. It, you know, this is a 120 volt. Uh, I mean, you can use 240 volt, but it's a 120 volt PSU uh, for a B85 board. These were huge, uh, hugely popular back in the day um, for GPU miners. Um, so again, this rig will be ready to be a home miner. You can obviously use different speed fans depending on if you want noise or not. Um, these open air rigs have a uh, pretty low CFM. It looks like these are a little higher. Um, but you know, being only 1.6 amps, they'll still be pretty low speed. I would think. And like I said, even if they are too loud for you, you can always swap it out for quieter ones. Um, but again, the wind tunnel effect of a server case just is so much better um, for running things cooler, which for longevity you should always do. So uh, we're gonna take apart this old rig 
and see if we can make sure this board lines up perfectly um, with all the standoffs in here. Hopefully it does. There are a couple different versions of the B85 board. Um, this is the B85 green board, which is very different than all the other ones. Uh, this case supposedly is for this board, so we will find out here in a moment. Um, but yeah, be right back once I uh, get this disassembled and ready to be put in. Well, guys, we have a problem. As you can see, the standoffs, unfortunately, are not lining up with the green um, B85 board. We're off by quite a mile in some spots, um, which is really quite unfortunate because I was really uh, hoping this would work. I do have another open air rig. So most of my open air B85s are this green board, but I do have one that is not the green board. Um, so I'm curious then if these holes actually line up for uh, the regular B85 board, even though they were advertised for the green board. Um, so I'm going to go get that rig, and we're going to see if that board can fit in here. That uh, rig is actually operating currently, so I'm going to have to, you know, turn it off and see. But again, my whole plan was to get rid of my open air rigs eventually anyway. Um, but yeah, kind of bummed. I was, I was really hoping I had found something for this, these green boards. Uh... It's not like they're that uncommon either. Like a lot of B85s were these green ones. So I hate that it's so hard to find frames and cases apparently that align with the, with the holes. I, and yes, they are supposed to be, uh, it's not the orientation. You know, it's not like this should be switched uh, because the rail for the GPUs is right here in the front uh, that you can see here. So, you know, I if I flipped it, the GPUs would mount the other way and that it just wouldn't work so um let me let me go get that other rig and see if we can uh get this working Alrighty, so this here is my um b85 rig that has a b85 board that is not the green board it's the only one i have again they are super common it is more common to not have the green one but the green one itself is super common so kind of disappointed that the case that was advertised for the green board does not work, but we're going to see if it works for this one because uh, it would be nice to get all these 20s. These are all RTX 2070s uh, into a server case. So I'm going to take this guy apart and we're going to see if this board does in fact fit on that guy up there. All right, guys, we got it in here and it does line up. So I do have, I have one board that can use this case, which is good. I don't have to worry about returning it. And that whole hassle um, wasn't the board I planned on putting in here immediately since this machine was up and running, but it will work. Um, so we're going to bolt down this board, put the fans in, uh, put the PSU in the PSU slot. And I guess uh, hopefully uh, have no issue, no more issues on here. I'm still going to have to find a case for all my green boards. Like I said, I got like five of those. So um if you know where you can find some, maybe, like if you've already done a conversion with those green boards, you know, link down below, uh, comment, you know, let me know, and maybe maybe I can uh, find a case. If you already have found one, uh, it would be real helpful. But yeah, so we're going to get this reset up, and I guess uh, this machine, this 2070 rig, is now going to be in a server case. All right, uh, while I was putting this together, got the board down. Uh, with the PSU in here, you'll want to put, if you're using an ATX um, mining power supply like I am, you'll want to put the fan on the side that has the grill. Um, but interesting note, so, um, and actually kind of cool, they, uh, when you get well, this case, if you buy it, it um, has this inset um, plate for if you were using like a server power supply. So if you want to put a ATX power supply, you'll just have to undo uh, these three screws to remove this inner plate so that you can then uh, bolt the much larger as you can see I can't get to the power socket because it's here and um, Even if I flip this it doesn't work with this smaller one um, Again, this is for like a server power supply Plus if I did flip this like 180 
then the fans on this side, which isn't ideal. You want to be pulling in cold air from the outside. So um, we're going to remove this plate and then continue setting this up. And with that plate removed, you can now see that, you know, our screw holes are lining up with the um, PSU screw holes. So we'll be able to get this in here nice and solid. Um, but yeah, still a nice feature that they give you the adapter to use a server power supply if you, if you so want to. All right, got all those fans mounted. I love the all black look. Kind of reminds me of a minor dude. Again, not a minor dude. But uh, it's, it's really... I'm really surprised with the quality of this. I mean, normally you just get like cheap stainless steel boxes, but this has like a nice matte finish. Um, even the, it's just, I'm, I'm just very surprised. But another interesting issue, uh, <laughs> which again, I'm trying to retrofit and use boards I have. Um, but yeah, so this case has five fans. My uh, B85 board only has for outputs for fans. So this last fan that kind of goes more towards the CPU and PSU, uh, I can't plug in right now. I'm gonna have to buy like a splitter, um, nothing major, but for now it's just not gonna run. So we're only gonna run four fans, um, mainly the ones that have the graphics cards, but uh, just another interesting little tidbit there. Um, that I, there are a lot of B85 boards that do have more than four. In fact, all my green boards have like, I think six or seven, maybe even eight fan header outputs. Um, but this one only has four, I guess. So um, we're gonna throw in the GPUs next, you know, attach all the wires. Um, maybe, actually, I think I should probably try and boot this real quick first, just to make sure everything's working with these fans. Um, so maybe we'll do that first. That's probably a good idea. Alrighty, we got our power cord plugged in, so we're gonna flip this on, make sure it at least boots and all our fans operate. Sure seems like they are. Yep, there they go. Again, these are only 1.6 amps, so they're pretty quiet. Um, I do have my noise canceling mic on, so you can't really hear them anyway, but they are very, very quiet. Um, they are going at full speed right now just because uh, the, they have four pins but my motherboard only has three pin output so um, you know the PWM isn't really doing what it, <laughs> it, it is not fully capable um, but yeah it looks like we booted up and everything's running great so we're gonna throw in those graphics cards and should be up and going here in no time all right guys all wire managed all the GPUs in and it looks sweet. I mean, this is like my back in black rig at this point. I mean, it is all black, especially once we put the lid on. I mean, I, I've just never had a black server case, and it looks awesome. I can see why people love the minor dudes now. Uh, but yeah, having the black graphics cards, you know, on top of that, and the black mother, literally everything's black except for the yellow power cables. Uh, anyway. But yeah, uh, I'm going to button this up, throw it on the shelf, and turn it on, and hopefully it, it boots right back up. All right, so we're back out in the exhaust room. That's where that board came from and where that miner was. Yeah, not where I plan to put it for now, but uh, <laughs> since we had to use this machine, that's where it is. But yeah, uh, it's looking pretty nice. I really like this case. I mean, if you have the right board that it works with, it's a good way to convert an open air B85 rig. So we're going to boot it up. There it goes. Feel lots of air coming out. It's just so different. Like, so down here, right below it, is another 2070 rig. And this has higher speed fans on it on that end. I don't feel anything coming out this side because there's just no way to push the there's just so much resistance, air is always gonna take the path of least resistance. So in the end, it inevitably just comes up and around. So I feel nothing here. Whereas this thing, I feel so much air coming through and these fans are actually slower fans than what's on here. So, um, like, but this one, it's that green board again. So that, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna convert this one yet. We're gonna to have to find a box that's compatible. But yeah, really, really liking this. Um, 
we're gonna go back out to the computer make sure this guy did connect but it should be good to go yep and there she is just booted about two minutes ago so it looks like we're in business with this 2070 rig and converting it from open air to a server case so um yeah let me know you know down below if you um ever plan to convert an open air rig to a server case have you found a server case for your motherboard or for the green uh b85 board i have that i can't seem to find any way to convert it um i'll keep trying keep trying worst i can do is i have to return something that doesn't work but yeah so uh comment down below like subscribe that's all i got on my furthering of my open air rig conversion to server cases. Until next time.